In this video, I'm going to show you how to do my favorite five text transitions inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, let's first start with our first text animation. And this first text animation is going to be a text reveal. So first of all, we just want to begin by creating some new text. So we'll go to the horizontal type tool type in here and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then you want to go into the character window. You can change the font if you want. So I'm going to change mine to monster at bold. Then I'm going to decrease the size of this because it is too large at the moment. And then once you're happy with that, you can put that into the center. Now from here, we want to go ahead and create a new solid. So we'll go layer new solid change the color of this to a different color. So let's go for yellow, press OK, and then we'll press S on the keyboard to load scale. So S for scale. We'll unlink the scale. So that is unlinking the scale width and height. So at the moment, if I pull that down, it affects both the width and the height. But if I unlink, I can now pull the width down to one, and then I can pull the height down to the same height as the text or just a little bit bigger. So about there. Then I'll press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll pull the position over to the left, just off the text. Then we'll go into scale and we'll pull the scale width down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on the scale by selecting the new keyframe option. Then we'll go maybe three or four keyframes to the right, pull this up to two or three. Then we'll go across again and we'll pull this down to one. So this will just pop up. Then we'll wait for a moment, press P on the keyboard to load position, create a brand new keyframe on position, move across a little bit in time and move the position over. Then we'll go across a little bit more again, press S, new keyframe on scale, move over and pull down to zero. So as you can see, this is going to pop up, slides across and then bounces down. So that looks really cool. Now we need to animate the text to come on. So we're going to go to the end of the action, which is around here. So it's just gone past the text. Select the text layer, select the rectangle tool at the top of After Effects and just draw a rectangle around that text. Then we'll go into masks, create a brand new keyframe on mask path, scroll back to the point where the yellow line appears just before the text. And then we could just move that mask all the way over so that it is now touching this yellow box. Now let's play this back and see what this looks like. There we go. We've got this really awesome text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. And that is title animation number one. Next up is going to be an individual character text bounce up. So same process, we'll press T and create a brand new title. Feel free to change the properties of this in the character window. But once you've done that, you can just center this up. So use the proportional grid to help you center this up. Then I'm going to go into the text there. So I'll press the drop down arrow, go into animate, select this playhead here, and then we'll go to position. Then we'll go into range selector and advanced. And then in advanced, you want to go down to mode and you want to change. Then in advanced, you want to go down to shape and change from square to ramp up. Then you want to go down to position and you want to pull the position down. So pull it down to around 500 to begin with. Then we'll pull the offset down to negative 100. Create a brand new keyframe on offset by selecting the stopwatch icon. Move over in time and pull the offset to plus 100. Now when we play this back, this animates up into the space. At the moment, it's a little slow though, so I'm just going to decrease the gap between those keyframes, render this out, play this back, and that now looks awesome. Although at the moment though, we can see the text waiting to come up into the frame. So we'll go to that last keyframe. And with that text selected, we'll go into the rectangle tool and we'll draw a rectangle around the text. Let's play this back. There we go, that now rises into the space. But at the moment though, it's lacking character. So first of all, we'll convert these keyframes into easy ease keyframes. And let's see how that looks. Instantly, that looks much better. Then we can go into ease high and ease low, and we can play with these numbers to change the look of this. There you go. So have a play with those numbers to change the look of that. And then of course, if we go up to text, we can go into animate, 
and we can add rotation. Then we'll go down into rotation and we'll pull the rotation across to about 70%. Create a brand new keyframe on rotation at the beginning. We'll go to the end and we'll pull the rotation back to zero. Now let's play this back. There you go, you do get this effect happening. Now, if that is not the look that you want, if you'd rather each character to animate, then let's just delete that one for now. We're going to animator one, then go into add, go property and go rotation. And now you can see if I adjust the rotation now, it's affecting each character individually. So I'm going to go to the very beginning. We'll pull that up to about 70% again, create a brand new keyframe on rotation move over to the end and then pull that down to zero. Let's see how that looks. Instantly, so much better. So that is text animation number two, and that is the character bounce up effect. Text number three is the box animation. So to create this, we're first just going to create our title again. You can place this roughly in the middle using the proportional grid as reference. And then we're just gonna go ahead and create a new solid. So layer new solid. You can change the color of this to a slightly darker color this time. So let's go for a dark blue and we'll drag this underneath the text layer. Now we'll just create a new rectangle mask around the outside of this text. We'll go across maybe 10 frames, go into mask one and create a new keyframe on mask path. Then we'll go back to the beginning. We'll grab these two points on the right of the mask. So hold down shift to grab multiple points, drag that to the very beginning. And now you can see we've got this box animating on. It would be cool though if we had a bounce. So let's go through past that second keyframe and create a new keyframe there. Then we'll go to the second keyframe, grab these second points on the right and drag them over to the right. And now we get a nice bounce in the animation. So from here, we're just going to create a mask around the text. So we'll just go through to the point where the box has filled the text. So around here, select the text layer, select the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle mask around your text. Then we'll go into mask one, mask path, new keyframe on mask path. Go back to the beginning just before that box hits the text and we'll pull that mask all the way to the left. Let's see how that looks. There we go, that looks really cool. Now you can stack multiple different boxes of text on top of each other and you can stagger them on so that they come on at slightly different times and create a really awesome box text animation. But that is text animation number three. Text animation number four is going to be a stroke animation. So let's just go ahead and create a new title again. So go up to T, select in here and new title. And then from there, we're just going to right click the text layer. We'll go down to create and we'll go create shapes from text. So this has converted that text layer into a shape layer, which means if we go up to here, we can select the word fill and remove the fill. So select no fill. Then we can go into stroke, the word stroke, select fill, okay. And then we can increase the stroke width all the way up to around 20. So that creates a nice outline. Then we'll go into the outline layer. So drop down arrow, go add, and we'll go down to trim paths. Then we'll go into the trim path layer. We'll pull the end all the way down to zero, create a brand new keyframe on end, move over and pull that up to 100%. And when we play this back, we get this cool stroke animation. Of course, feel free to increase that gap between those two keyframes to have a slower animation. So like this. And then once that stroke has animated in, you can turn the original text layer back on. We'll press T on the keyboard to load opacity, pull that down to 0%, brand new keyframe on opacity, move over, pull up to 100%. And now you get this really cool stroke animation and that fills in with the word. So that is text animation number four. Now my last text animation is going to be a text tracking or a text kerning animation. So this is basically just the letters spacing away from each other. So again, we're just gonna press T, brand new text, type out your word or your phrase, place this in the very center. And then as you can see, the anchor point at the moment is in the bottom left. So we're just gonna go into paragraph. We're gonna make sure this is centered. So the anchor point is now in the center. 
and then we can move this up again. And then if that's still not in the dead center, we can just press A on the keyboard to load anchor point. And we can place the anchor point in the middle and then move this around so that the text is now perfectly in the center of the composition. So around there. Now we'll go into that text there. So select the drop down arrow, go down to animate and we'll select trekking. Then as you can see, you've got trekking amount zero. You just want to create a brand new keyframe on that. So select the stopwatch icon at zero, move over a few seconds and we'll just pull this all the way up so that this now has a gap in between each character. So when we take this back to the very beginning and we render this out, you can see you've got this really cool text tracking effect. And that is a little bit too fast for my liking. So I'm just going to increase the gap between those two keyframes. And then I'm going to press S on the keyboard to load scale. We'll pull the scale down, brand new keyframe on the scale, move over and increase the scale. So you've got the tracking or the spacing animating out and then the scale is animating in as well. So when you combine those two together, you get this really cool text animation now applied. But there you go. That is how you create these five different text animation styles inside of Adobe After Effects. All of these are very quick and simple animations that can really help to bring your text to life. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.